Hey, this is Ryan Jones with Serverless Guru. In this video, we're gonna be covering how to do the after deploy finalize using the serverless plugin scripts. So what we can do is switch over to your terminal. If you don't have it open, search for terminal and open that up. I'm using a terminal called Hyper. Um, it's called Hyper.js. You can um, check that out if you look it up on Google. So go ahead and open up to whatever directory you wanna be in. I'm in uh, my uh, add desktop serverless, so I just have a serverless folder that I'm doing most of these tutorials through. So I'm going to do a create command for serverless. So you can do serverless create dash dash template AWS Node.js dash dash path. The path is your uh, folder name. Um, so what we can do is we're going to do serverless plugins, so let's call it that. Serverless. And there we go, we've got our serverless little animation thing there. Um, so let's go ahead and CD into serverless plugins. Cool. And I'm using Atom. You can use any text editor you want for this stuff. Um, this Atom doc command basically says like open everything inside of this um, this folder. So I like I like Atom just because it's kind of like quick and simple. Um, you don't have to deal with a lot. Um, so yeah. Anyways. Uh, let's go ahead and take out all these comments. If you watch my serverless introduction, we did this. I kind of went through what some of the stuff means, um, or most of this means. So uh, definitely check that out. You can find that on serverlessguru.com or going to the um, serverless introduction playlist on YouTube. Okay, cool. So now that we have this stuff here, let's add a section called plugins. And then let's go over to the documentation for the serverless plugin scripts. So you can see that they add this here, serverless plugin scripts. Okay, and it also shows that we need to have npm. So what we need to do is run npm init. Go ahead and click through these. Yep. And then we can do npm i dash dash save. Let me grab their name again. So I is the same as install. It's just kind of a shorthand way of writing it. Okay, so now that we have this stuff installed, we can see instead of our package.json, we have serverless plugin scripts. Um, and now we can actually start uh, using it. So let's go ahead and grab this section here. And then we can come below it and add a custom section. So this section right here is for custom variables. Um, this is also something I cover in the serverless introduction videos. And then we're going to take out this current hook there and we're gonna go over to the serverless lifecycle cheat sheet. Um, so if you search for this on Google, um, this is a great resource to, to kind of start trying out how to add, um, how to add different lifecycle hooks into your code. So after deploy finalize, and then we're gonna say, okay. cool. All right, so um, what we can do now is let's go ahead and do uh, SLS deploy. So SLS is the same as running a serverless, serverless. So you can run this either in two different ways. SLS is just the shorthand way. And if you are watching this video without watching serverless introduction, you're not gonna have your AWS credentials set up. So what you can do is go to the serverless introduction. Um, so if I go to serverlessguru.com. Um, these courses are free, so you can check it out. You don't have to pay anything. Um, so serverless introduction. And if you look here, this first serverless project. So the, in this video, um, we actually cover how to set up our AWS credentials. Um, in these videos, we show some commands and like organizing the projects, how to actually create DynamoDB tables, and then kind of just a like review of like what we learned. So um, if you want to set up your AWS credentials uh, and actually see a walkthrough of that, you can go there. Otherwise, you can go to serverless 
amazon.com and you can go to quick start docs and then choose Amazon Web Services and then you can install service globally and then click this provider credentials here oh that's not the one for provider credentials and what you want to do is scroll down to uh, this section Let's see where is it here we go serverless config credentials um, so this is assuming that you have a user set up um, if you don't have a user uh, that's kind of something that I cover uh, in detail in that video but the kind of the steps are you need to create an AWS account you need to create a identity access management user and you need to give that identity access management user um, programmatic access um, that will give it an access key and secret access key and then you need to um, basically run this command once you have that secret key and access key um, and you have serverless installed globally and then you're good to go and you can start doing the deployments just like I'm doing now without having to worry about um, uh, anything else so cool so we've got this deployed um, and if you look down here we've got this thing that says working so this is the basic example of what using serverless plugin scripts can do um, you can get as crazy as you want to get you can have a script um, so if we did something like that let's say let's create a new file here and call it um, uh, just say say hello.sh um, I actually have to look up the um, bash the bash script command yeah this bin bash <laughs> you would think that I would know it but <laughs> regardless um, and then we can say echo working Sweet. Okay, now what we can do is we can go back to the serverless.yaml file. Instead of saying it here, echo working, we can actually say sh uh, dot slash say hello dot sh. And then we can try to rerun this and see what happens. So what should happen is that it'll go through the deployment again. Um, it should go into our script and then basically run this. Uh, and say echo working, or should say working. And so what you can do is you can make these scripts as complicated as you want. Um, it can also be a Python file, and then you can just basically run like Python um, and then invoke that Python file directly. Um, and obviously, if you're running Python, then you can run all of the other things along with that. So uh, working, doing cool stuff. Awesome. So this is this is a very simple example of how to add extra functionality to your projects and really make um, them cover your different use cases. So uh, this would be something you would use very heavily in like uh, DevOps roles. So most likely if you're learning serverless um, or uh, your company is using serverless and that's why you're kind of looking out for these resources on how to build serverless projects. Um, you're getting pretty deep into like DevOps and how to actually structure things. Um, so that's awesome. And this is one way to add existing functionality from maybe if you're doing like Jenkins or you're doing um, uh, some different way, like a I know that's just Python ways of deploying CloudFormation. So if you're doing something like that and you wanted to transfer over scripts that you've already used before, but you're trying to figure out how do I do it in a serverless way, um, this is a very easy way to add um, that functionality, uh, yeah, all over your stack. So on all the different like uh, lifecycle hooks that happen. So, all right, well, this is the end of this video. Um, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.